In this vid, I'm going to be showing some TCBMs, but mostly BCBMs, that I've been getting in over the past few days. The first one I actually got in, I uh, uh, at least over a week ago or so, and I forgot to actually make this video for this person with the other TCBM and BCBM vids that I did recently. So he's already received his uh, booster packs, and I um, I don't know if he PM me to say what he pulled in them or if it was something he was going to just be setting aside for a collection. But here's his note. Computer 3 and CSU, thanks for the two Gym Heroes packs I'll be receiving soon. And here are some freebies. The Legend 1245. So the freebies, two code cards. And here's the money for the packs. So thank you very much for the quick, easy sale. Next up, we have a, another BCBM from Melcero23, and it says, thank, thank you for me buying Pokemon packs from you. Looking forward to getting them. I hope I pull some nice cards. Thanks, Melcero23. P.S. Eevee says hi. So it got a cute little picture of an Eevee. And uh, sent a money order, so awesome. And your cards, um, well actually well, your booster packs, will be mailed out later this week. Next up we have a sale from Flying Pikachu. Uh, no note with this, just Flying Pikachu. And this is a sale for a bunch of Hollow Energy, so there's the money for that. And finally, the la well, actually not the last last, but the last sale of the video comes from Shocking Santa. Hello, Computer 3 and CSU. This is Shocking Santa slash Poketuber1993. I wanted to say thank you for the trade and keep up the good work. Both of your channels are awesome. Sincerely, Shocking Santa slash Poketuber1993. P.S. Please excuse the chicken scratch. I'm a typer. <laughs> LOL. So, uh, no problem. Uh, actually, your handwriting is very easy to read can, uh, compared to um, some that I've received and honestly compared to my own it's perfect so there's the money um, he bought a few of my coins so that was pretty cool and finally I saved uh, probably what is most interesting for last uh, it's not really exciting to see money but I do them for reference um, for reference for them for future trades but here is a trade that I did not on YouTube but on um, Trade Cards Online, which is a site that I actually got started trading out at. And um, I'm not quite happy with the condition of this card now that I take a closer look at it. I'll have to go back through the vids and um, see if he mentioned anything about the condition. But either way, this is a pretty hard to find card, so it's still something I'm uh, kind of happy to add to my collection. A Pop 3 Hollow Blastoise. Um, yeah, I'm just having a really hard time tracking down uh, this particular card, the, not only the Hollow version, but the non Hollow version of this as well. There's a few other pop cards, mainly from the earlier sets, that I'm still looking for, and if, you're, uh, if anyone thinks that they might have some, you can check my once list on thecatsmouth.com. Pretty easy to go to, just thecatsmouth.com, and there's a nice little tab that has my wants, and I just scroll down, the, there's a pop section. Because of the new channel layout, there's no longer room for me to post my entire once. So that's why I'm pretty much uh, showing all my a lot of information on my new channel. Or not new channel, my new website. So, pretty awesome looking card, but there is this big nasty crease right there. And uh, it's got a little bit of edge wear, that's really not concerning. Uh, for these older cards, ex I expect to see a little bit of a white edge wear. But what bothers me is this big crease right through the picture. Um, I definitely don't remember him telling me about that, and um, I'm trading some valuable cards for this, so I'm probably going to go back and talk to him and uh, see if there's something we can work out. Um, but trade cards online is a uh, they have a pretty good trading system. Not perfect, but uh, they've got this uh, this way to file bad trader reports. So it's a pretty cool site to actually trade with and pretty good for actually getting up a reputation. And that's, like I said, that's where I got my start before I moved over to uh, a lot of my YouTube trades. So really awesome card to add to my collection. Bummer about the damage, but maybe uh, everyone seeing this card will maybe, um, I don't know, remind people that or remind someone out there that maybe they have this hanging around in their closet somewhere and maybe they'd like to trade it. So uh, definitely looking for a mint version as well as a mint version of the non-hollow as well. So 
that's all my trades. Oh, and this trade was from Jay Martin on Trade Cards Online. I'm not sure if he has a YouTube account or all, at all. Um, yeah, or at all. Probably doesn't. That's why I worked with him on that site. So, again, thank you for watching. And uh, I've got a bunch of trade and sale binder vids coming up soon. So, definitely keep an eye out for those.